Hi class, to finish off your beer or soda label, I will be doing a uh, 3D mock-up. And what's nice about that is you can have a, a, a combination of uh, sketches, your actual logo of the label, and then you have this really great uh, 3D looking mock-up, okay? This is the mock-up. I am giving this to you on Canvas, so you have this in your in your folder there okay now this is uh, again this is specifically for a mock-up this is uh, you can purchase this uh, I got I don't remember if I purchased this or um, I got it free but uh, it just it's a really nice guide to doing a mock-up okay this is a student in the class I really liked her fun brew pine it's a takeoff on a porcupine and it's a brewery in Australia, okay? Now, I didn't ask you all to do this, but this is a great idea, doing a sketch here originally. Here's the final. Here is the name of the company, nicely done. Just a typographic logo. This is the neck, and then this is the actual label on the body of the bottle. So let's start. Um, when you're doing a label that's going to be mocked up, what you want is just the front. You don't see the sides and the back. You just see the front. For this assignment, though, I do want you to do the left and right sides or the back, okay? That's really important that you do that, all right? Um, I think one thing that is uh, missing on this is uh, she forgot to put the uh, UPC, the Universal Product Code, the barcode, which I think she's going to be adding later on, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't uh, bother us right now because we're only going to use this area up here. All right. So what I'm going to do, uh, we are in Photoshop. So let's get one of the tools. Uh, let me let me. The tools actually are over here. There are. I want to let me pull it over here so you can see. There it is. You can see what's going on. All right. Uh, this is a rectangular, square rectangular label, so I'm just going to use this tool. And I am going to click about, you have to guesstimate this, and if you do it wrong, just do it over again. That's the way it goes. Click, and I'm going to pull this area, because this is the area I'm going to paste onto that bottle. Okay, there we go. The... They, call, they used to call these the marching ants. So your marquee, command X, cut. There you go. And I'm going to click up here onto this particular really nice mock up that we have here. Okay. Okay. Now, again, what a lot of the stuff that was is here on these layers is what was made to build this okay we don't really need that we don't need that we're not going to do that we're doing our own label so i am going to delete this i like to work cleanly i don't like a lot of extraneous stuff floating around all right but right here let's click on the eyeball there is a drop shadow don't really need it i i'm not going to delete it yet i'm just going to eyeball it off for now background color is just nothing it's transparent okay so the actual back, uh, background is white all right and this is the mock-up so you click here and then you have all these subfolders and then you can kind of mess around in here with what's going on let's get rid of we don't really need the cap oh yes we do sorry about that um, let's just click this label Okay, that we definitely do not need. Let's get rid of that. Uh, as far as the bottle goes, let's just leave that. I think this is about all that we need. Let's start collecting stuff. We already did a Command X cut. So let's do the mover tool up here. Click on the background and do Command V for paste. And there we go. It's a little bit smaller. This obviously is a very high res photograph here of this beer. Bottle. I think it's going to be okay. Let's make this larger. Okay, I just grab in the corner and pull. Now, there's the curved little arrows there. That means you can turn this, so let's do that right now. 
and let's bring it down here and you can see it's off so by the this side here so turn it just a little bit more okay and let's see if this fits now that's actually pretty good what I did I lucked out uh, that looks pretty good there so it's it needs to line up let's unclick this see it needs to line up it's a little bit off but it really is not bad it really is not bad now what I want to do is do a slight curve now I have to look at this where should the curve be should it be curving down or should it be curving up and I'm looking at this curve this curve is an up curve the middle part is going up so I'm gonna do this slightly up and this see that line there I'm gonna do this slightly up too maybe less so than this because this is more in the middle okay so let's do that make sure you're on the right layer and this is right now where I am and I'm gonna go up to edit transform and I'm gonna warp it okay so with the warp you want to go to a corner and play around a little bit now I'm gonna I'm actually going to do it so that I'm going to start by making it touch the bottle this will increase the top a little bit let's do this now I'm gonna take this down a little bit so it touches the bottle on the side here and this I want to curve it a little bit and this I want to curve it just a tiny bit too I know these handles are confusing but you've worked with them in, uh, in other applications Adobe Illustrator uses um, in their drawing tools they use these so it, it pays to get to know them just work slowly that's the trick let's do this one now click on the corner bring it in just a tiny bit and I'm going to curve this a tiny bit. Okay, this too, move it in. Because this would be a paper label and it would be glued to the bottom, so it definitely would be touching. Okay, now let's look at top and bottom. This one moved a little bit, so let's pull this back. Okay. Pull this in a little bit. I know there's like a little teen bump there. Okay. We can clean this up later on in Photoshop, but I would try to do your best right now. Okay, so click. Let's go. Um, that's pretty good. This is a little bit off here. Little bit off. So let's again click the layer. Let's go back to edit, transform, and whoop. Let's do warp again. Okay, so this is a little bit off. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. So this actually needs to come out a little bit. This is in a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, top needs to come out a little bit. Oops. Or okay, this needs to come out just a tiny bit. And this needs to go in a tiny bit. Okay. Okay. It's easier if you make this larger, uh, which is what I really should be doing, but I'm not. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I am going to do one more thing to this. Uh, this is a really dark black, so you're, there is a shadow right here. Normally, I would put a shadow on it to make it look more three-dimensional. Let's try that uh, just to see if it helps. Here we go. This is dodge and burn. Think of burn as dark, burning, darking something. So let's burn, and it's saying it doesn't want to do it. Let's go up to the layer, click. Now it's okay. All right. Go up here, exposure, midtones. You can choose what you want. Let's leave it at midtones, exposure, you know, 
that's good, 50, 50 let's do 50 percent, and I'm going to darken this. Okay, once again, it is a black label, it's not going to show. There's a highlight here, a very strong highlight. Let's do a highlight down here, okay? And what we have is the, uh, we want the dodge tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a going up and down on this and creating a highlight just a little bit. It's hard to see just because it is black. Some of your labels, I'm sure, are not all black, so it looks like um, she also has a drop shadow on her porcupine, so I can kind of see that coming. So I'm just going to leave this here for now. That's basically all you have to do. Now, what I would do uh, with this is uh, collapse a few things. I would go up here to uh, the little, they call that a hamburger, and flatten the image, okay? Discard hidden layers, it's asking me. Okay. Notice it's down to one layer. That's what you want. One layer. Now, I would also suggest you, you before you did that, to save a copy of this. Because once you collapse all these layers, they are literally flattened. You cannot get them back. Okay. So here we go. This would be the end of this particular um, assignment do a PDF of this and hand it into your canvas. All right. And I can't think of anything else uh, what, what to do with this. So let's just quit.